Yeah, he's doing okay. I think his knee just um, jars a little bit on the odd occasion, but he's, uh, he seems to be coping and he's pretty tough um, when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, we, we, we've got a genuine feeling like we're still in this game. Um, I know Safka are 120 ahead, but there's no doubt that it was pretty good batting conditions, particularly when the ball got softer today. So uh, that's something that we'll want to take forward knowing that once that ball gets softer, we can score a lot of runs. And it is, you know, when you get bowled out relatively cheaply on the, in the first innings, you've got to make it a first versus fourth innings game. So um, we've got to try and get enough ahead that uh, we, can, we can try and defend that on day four and five on, on a relatively dry pitch. I mean, Leachy was quite encouraged by the amount of spin he was getting today. Um, and you'd imagine that that will only increase through, through the game. So uh, it, I think the game's set up really nicely. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to have a couple of great days, but um, you know, we've proved this summer that, that you know, anything can happen and we feel really positive in the change room that we've got ourselves back in the game because what was it, 130 for one? Um, it, it was, uh, we needed something to happen and uh, the, the bowlers are delighted that we managed to, to make a couple of breakthroughs. Is there a, I mean, it's 124 now. Yeah, it's, really, it's, it, it, it's really special, isn't it, to, to see, I think there's been a bit of a trend uh, to see 40 plus year old sports people still having success in the world. Um, a couple of springs, obviously Brady springs to mind, you've got Zlatan springs to mind, uh, and, and Jimmy. It, it proves that modern science is a huge, a huge benefit in, in the sporting world. Uh, it was probably less and less in my dad's era that you could get bowlers particularly playing into that, into that latter period. Um, but, you know, I look at Jimmy and I don't, he's not really changed physically since he was 35. He, he still looks uh, really young and fresh and fit and uh, he still really enjoys it. So that, that's the crucial thing. Um, you know, he's, he's always going to have the skill and the ability to take wickets. He just, as long as he keeps that competitive spirit and, and enjoyment, he'll, uh, he can sort of go for as, as long as he wants, really. Yeah, I love him. He's he's brilliant. He's uh, I've really enjoyed playing against him. He's a, a fantastic competitor. Uh, he's got great attributes to be a fast bowler. Swings the ball, uh, keeps fit, and uh, he bowls quick. So he's uh, it's always very special to get on the the Lord's Honours board, particularly for uh, away teams coming because the opportunity doesn't come round too often. Uh, so he uh, he doesn't show a lot of emotion on the field a lot of the time. You know he's. Um, He's, he probably, I wouldn't upset him if I called him a slightly grumpy fast bowler, but he certainly celebrated his, his fifth because he knew he'd, he'd sort of written his name onto the, the history of the honours board. But yeah, he, I mean, look at his strike rate. I think there was something came up on the TV, like it, the, the bowlers compared to his strike rate, is it 40 or something? I mean, that's just that's awesome, isn't it, for a fast bowler? So uh, yeah, we should enjoy watching... I enjoy watching him bowl when he's not playing against England. So we should, we, you know, we should just enjoy, enjoy the skill set he's got. That he offers well cricket, and um, yeah, he's 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 great to play against. Thank you. Uh, we've 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 kind of committed to, you know, knowing your job and and trying to do your job the best as possible. Um, you know, if you do that, usually, you know, a team click, clicks quite nicely and and things fall into place. So it's it's not really a case of. Um, you know, one individual doing very well. Obviously, we'd love to get more hundreds, um, you know, in our in our batting lineup. Um, but as long as we're trying to do the job as best as possible and committing to that, as, you know, fully, 100%, um, you know, to your plan and your process, then, you know, if we're going to keep winning, um, you know, then so be it. I, I do have moments where I, where I kind of look around and I, and I go, wow, okay, this is this is what it feels like. Um, but I think the the space that I'm in and the 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 time that I'm playing cricket for South Africa, I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best as possible. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to really really stay in the moment and not not think about other things that can that can fill my mind. Um, so there are times where you know when you walk onto the field or you're walking. You got a drinks break, or you're changing gloves. You know, I'll 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 look around and I'll I'll get a bit of a fuzzy feeling going. Okay, this is home of cricket, um, but I try to control my thoughts and my and my my body as much as possible so that it doesn't overwhelm me because obviously it's a special place. Um, so yeah, it's just ball for ball. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously I knew what, the, what they were going to try to do there. Um, and I think the, the lazy thing to do would be not just to, to try to duck the whole time um, and not to play because, like I said, some of the balls today it kind of like stuck in the wicket some of them skidded through a touch um, so it was just trying to be aware as, po as much as possible to try to play um, and then getting out the way or then um, swerving out the way and you know, unfortunately today I was just a touch um, probably just a touch late on that one to, to get out the way um, so it's just I mean it's one of those things it's not a, it's not a train smash but um, yeah, when you when you know what they're trying to do, um, you kind of have a clear clear plan, and sometimes it doesn't go to plan. Um, it's just one of those things.